Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. I'm so glad you're here. So this was also from a live chat that we just did. Thank you to everybody who came out. If you missed it, don't worry, we'll do another one soon. Check the community tab. I always post in there when I know I'm going to have a live chat. But anyway, this was an interesting discussion we got into about the removal of titles. Now I've been pretty vocal saying, yes, remove those titles, take them off the website, out of the line of succession. They, I mean, absolutely. What are we waiting on? Um, I do get pushback sometimes when I say that, and it's uh, it's fine. I welcome. I mean, if you can argue your point, go for it. You know, um, and uh, so I kind of go into why some people don't think that's a good idea, and um, just all that. So I thought you might enjoy this conversation. So take a listen again. This is from a live chat, so you hear me, my stream of thoughts st stuff, and then um, Jay chimes in and makes a joke, and then we take some questions from the people in the chat. All right. So this is courtesy of the Daily Mail. Richard Eden says Harry and Meghan are doing huge damage to the monarchy. Strip them of their titles now or risk yet more havoc. All right. So there's that. I'm going to read just a little bit of this to hear his case. And then I want to I just thought we could have a conversation about it. Of course, we agree. We think they should be stripped. Um, but I a little bit understand some people's hesitation with Concern about, again, not having the royal family stoop to their level. And um, and then she'd have to, it is funny, the idea she could go by princess, but it'd have to be, I believe, Princess Henry, if I have that right, which kind of makes me laugh. So the article says Harry and Meghan should be stripped of titles. I won't say their titles to prevent further damage to the monarchy, according to Richard Eden, writing in his latest edition of Palace Confidential Newsletter. He says, let's see, they must have known their claims about royal, you know, the ist words they like to throw around would wreak havoc. And then it said, I never said that guy's name right. Is it Rishi Sunex? Government should support efforts uh, to remove the dukedom, should strip Harry from his role of counselor of state, which allows him to stand in for the king in some circumstances and remove Harry and his children from the line of succession. This is the camp I've fallen. I totally agree, and I feel the same way. I think it should definitely happen. The existing, existing state of affairs is an insult to the British people. And hold on just a little bit more, and then we'll talk amongst ourselves. The Duke of Sussex has this week challenged an existing government decision to strip him of his security when he and his family visit Britain. <laughs> Excuse me. Yet that is not the only entitlement of which he and she should be stripped, says Eden. The latest episode in the couple's shameful sojourn overseas has seen them fail to say a word since their most outspoken cheerleader, Omid Scobie, dragged the name King Charles and Princess of Wales through the mud. And then it says they were identified as so called, you know, theist words, royals who, according to Prince Harry and Meghan, discussed, you know what they discussed, as they clearly intended when they gave their explosive interview to Oprah, Harry and Meghan are doing huge damage to the monarchy. With lurid claims of the Istwards now given a new lease on life, they're likely to continue wreaking more havoc if firm action is not taken now. And then this is the last part. It says, Eden says the government should back the parliamentary efforts of the Tory MP, Bob Seeley, who, as revealed in the Mail on Sunday, is attempting to strip them of um, the Duke and Duchess titles. The titles were a wedding present from Queen Elizabeth when she thought they would be working members of the firm, continues Eden. Her Majesty would have never dreamed of giving them such titles now that they're using them for commercial benefit in the USA. So that's why I wanted to read that. I wanted to get our thoughts out and discuss this. I'm going to go back to pictures of beautiful Catherine so I keep my calm. But I want to hear your thoughts. I, my personal opinion, because I do, believe it or not, I actually catch hell sometimes when I say this, that, that I think they should be stripped because people are like, no, the royal family would be stooping to their level. They don't need this. They just need to... Again, what's that word? I always forget. Gray rock. Grace. Yeah, I think so. Gray rock. They need to just keep calm, carry on, you know, never complain, never explain. All those platitudes. They need to do that. 
But I really think at this point, Harry and Meghan, and I'm not trying to be dramatic, but they're dangerous with these things. They are. They're, they have too much, not that they have power, but they have too much almost power, right? They're too power adjacent, I think is the word. And so they, sh I believe they should be stripped of it. And I think it's not fair the way that they're, and it's more than that, but it's in a simple terms, it's not fair how they're treating the king, the princess of Wales, William, Camilla, you name it, everybody, they're treating everybody so poorly. All right, I would like to read some of your comments now and see what you guys think. All right, so it seems like the overwhelming opinion is that they should be stripped. Oh, Jay has an opinion he'd like to share. Go ahead. Well, just a common, <laughs> a common sense opinion. Let's take all of the titles and government and everything out of the equation. If you had a Care Bear that was full of apathy, what, would you still want to call it a Care Bear? If you have a golden retriever that just takes things away and is also not golden, <laughs> like, would you call it? like a jerk. Yeah, yeah, it's it's actually a chihuahua. Yeah. Don't call it a golden retriever. Yeah. So that's that's uh, that's my irrefutable Facts. irrefutable logic. All right, let me read some of your comments now. Thank you for those examples. Um, yeah. those to, to Parliament, and they'll be like, "Oh, okay, oh, yeah. uh, now, righto. Uh, righto, we didn't see it that way." <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right. Um, let's see here. Hey, Daughter of Darkness. Thanks for being here. It says Megan would just le legally change her name to Dus Duchess of Sussex or Princess Megan to get around being stripped. I think so too. But I just think that would be funny to watch. If she's gonna go by the title either way, the idea that she would sink that low would kind of be fun to watch, I think. So I'm here for that. I'm here for taking away is what I'm trying to say. Merti, I hope I'm saying that right, says they only damage their own reputations, in my opinion. I think so, too. It's not that I'm concerned for the royal family's reputation. It's more of, I just think it's so wrong. And, and the idea of the, his privileged ass being able to fly over and meet in private with court. I don't, I don't even want to pretend like I know how your court system works over there. <laughs> but to be able to meet with them to try to beg for private security or whatever paid for funded security, not private. Um, wait, so he, again, in a nutshell, he's asking for public funding, but asking that he can argue for this in private. It just, it's things like that. He uses his title and his status or whatever to gain advantages like that. And I just, I think it's so wrong. So that's, that's one of my million problems I have with their titles.